Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video for you. One of you wonderful subscribers asked me, what are the supplies I need if I start a long arm quilting business? So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite long arm quilting products that I've used since probably like when I became more proficient with the business, but things that I love and I wish I would have known when I started, because it's made my life a lot easier. So yeah. That's what this video is gonna be about. What's my favorite long arm quilting products for starters? Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, product number one is you're gonna need thread. When I bought my long arm quilting machine, Gamel gave me thread. <coughs> they gave me these. As a matter of fact, I still have all of these threads. Now, the thread is fine, it works fine, but it's not my favorite thread, so. If you're starting and you want to purchase a thread but don't want to spend a lot of money, I'm a thread chick. I love thread. Thread's my favorite thing. I love King Tut from Superior Thread. That's my favorite thread. Some people hate it because it's very, um, is it linty? I don't think it's linty. I just love it because of all the color variations. But one of my other favorite threads, if you don't want to spend money, it's uh, connections thread. I love their threads, especially on my long arm. A spool like this only costs $2 and you can do a heck of a lot of quilting. As a matter of fact, you probably can quilt uh, a king on this and get all the way through it with the top and bobbin and you could probably do a couple of throws, a, tuple, a couple of baby quilts with these and it comes like you can get a set of several colors for $24 and this quilt's lovely. Find threads that are quilting threads but are not so expensive and try them on your machine because this stage of your starting your business is you're learning what works well with your machine, what threads respond well to tension and so try to be inexpensive about thread. Don't go to the more expensive threads yet until you already know what your machine likes or how you know how to work your machine better. Those are just kind of like thoughts, okay? Do I look okay? I'm in my long arm room and I'm, not, I'm using the sunlight to... Ah. Okay, so <laughs> let's go. And the next thing that's connected to your thread and that's connected to tension, and I know this is a little bit of a pricier item, it's uh, the bobbin tension gauge. This is what, it came in the box and this is what it looks like outside the box. I use this every time I long arm, every time. Every time I change the different types of thread, I check my tension. If you know what your tension is at the bottom, it's real easy to maintain and figure out how to tension the top. If the bottom is right, then all you do is fiddle with the top. If this is wrong and the top is wrong, it's just fiddling a lot and getting nowhere. So I love this thing. I know it's a little bit pricey. It's worth the investment. I've had mine since 2009. And she still works. She's lovely. This is a Tova Tension. I'm holding it backwards. <laughs> this is a Tova Tension for the M bobbins. It's awesome. If you're new to long arming, one of the frustrating things is your tension because that's what's going to frustrate you the most when you're learning to long arm. Mm -hmm. When I purchased my long arm quilting machine, I also purchased the winder, the the bobbin winder. My lady who was telling me about the machine, she says you need to buy a winder because the winder on the machine is eh. So <laughs> um, I went and I bought the winder and that winder was eh. But I want to share with you what winder I, I love. I love this winder. This is an Innova winder and one of the reasons, and you already see I have a thread, I have the bobbins in here. The reason I love this winder, and I'll post a video link up here on when I purchased this winder because I was on the fence on purchasing it. This bobbin winder winds the bobbin beautifully. Um, it winds it equally. I've done a video on that too. I will post like a clip of how beautiful this thing winds. You can use this for M bobbins and L bobbins. So it's like a having a two in one. Another thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a lot of bobbins. Oh Lord, Gamel has their own bobbin system and their own style of bobbins and it's these. My hoodies, like this. 
I don't like these bobbins because they're very heavy and for some reason when I use my Gamel winder for some reason I don't know I don't know if it was the Gamel winder or the bobbins or what the issue was I had a lot of tension problems so I ended up going trying these from Inova these are kind of expensive from Inova these red ones so I went and I went to Amazon and I bought these from Amazon and I got a hundred at the time they were like $24 I will try to find a link to these so that you could see you could buy a hundred still but I don't know what the price is anymore they're better than this bobbin they're just as good as this one and I love these okay but they're expensive but these work just as good they're just as great the only thing is these have like a little thread gap thing the little thing where you put your thread these do not I love these because they're cheap and they work just as good as this oh, I love these oh. This is a Fonz and Porter's measuring tape. It goes up to 120. Oh, this is just lovely. This is a have to because you're gonna measure other people's quilts and oh, just uh, 120 inches long. That's a king size quilt. Perfect, yes. I have millions, maybe 10 of these. That's how much I love these. The reason I have 10 is I'll lose one, then I buy another one, then I find this one. But yeah, anyway, I love these. They're the best. I think they cost uh, $15, $18. I don't know, maybe not so much, but you could get half off coupon at Joann's and they're worth it, okay? Like, like <laughs> It has a uh, yardage, it has inches, and it retracts, it's just the best. I love this. This is a have to if you're gonna work for clients. One of my other favorite items, it's this little tool thing. Um, well, the reason I love it is because it has all these other little uh, pieces that go to it. So if I need to fix the needle or change the needle, I have it available to me. And I got this at Sears. They were only like two or three dollars best tool ever I have a bigger one that's a little bit more but ugh, and this is like the best gadget ever so here I'm here in all this I've been sharing with you the gadgets but let's talk about you're gonna have to practice <laughs> and one of the things that I recommend that you go to Joann's or to a fabric store and buy a very cheap muslin white material and muslin is one of the greatest materials to practice on and you're gonna need just material and what I like about muslin it's white and you can use a color thread on it and it shows uh, tension issues it shows thread problems and you get to really learn how the machine works and uh, if you're manually moving the machine it shares with you some of the areas where you need to smooth out your free motion quilting and uh, yeah so white muslin i recommend you play with muslin material before you even touch one of your quilts and of course you're going to need batting learning your favorite batting comes through time my favorite batting is warm and natural but it's kind of expensive but i just love the way the quilt looks the way it lofts i just love I've also fallen in love with this Pellon cotton batting. I think it's 80% cotton, a certain percent poly, but I love it. I love, it feels like a warm and natural batting. It's not thin. I don't know, I just like it, but batting. And you don't have to buy a lot of it, just buy some of it. And then you can find different companies that can sell you batting wholesale. But before you buy big bolts of batting, Find out what you like. And that's why I'm recommending getting small chunks of batting to try it on your machine, to see how your machine responds to it. And then once you find the your, your, you approve batting, then buy it in bulk from a company wholesale. And, um, but that comes in time and that comes in playing. 
Now for you quilters that want to do manual quilting and you don't have a computerized system, let me just share with you one of my favorite rulers. And this is like, I bought this at Joann's. This is called the Stitch in the Ditch. I love this ruler. When I was learning how to stitch in the ditch, it's hot, it's pain, it's, it's, it's a skill. This little ruler made me look like a professional. Mm -hmm. And I think this ruler was only like a couple, it wasn't more than I think at the time, maybe $15, so I got it for seven bucks. I think they're a little bit more now, but you can get them at Joann's. Um, and yeah, just, I love this roller. I can't say enough. This is a must have kind of, if you're going to do manual quilting. And I recommend this one than any other straight rulers because it helps you with this to, to do stitching in the ditch or lining things up to have a straight line ruler. <sighs> you don't have to buy all these rollers. You don't. Um, as a matter of fact, they even have how to do feather. <sighs> but, like I bought this one on how to make a spine. I want you to know that if you have a manual long arm quilting machine, you don't need to spend a lot of money on rulers. You need to spend money on muslin and thread. The reason I say that is because you can, in practicing, you can void buying, purchasing these rulers. As a matter of fact, I purchased these rulers because I thought they would help me do long arm quilting feathers. And what I ended up finding is that uh, I didn't need it. I spent a lot of money on these rulers because I thought I needed them. See, I got different sizes too. And you, they'll convince you to purchase rulers, to do borders and to do this and that. And the truth is it's to learn how to do feathers on borders. It's really a skill that you learn. And these rulers are not going to fit every single border that you make on quilts. So you can see that I've purchased a lot of rulers so i recommend that you get a straight line ruler and here it is straight line ruler um i recommend that you purchase maybe a curve ruler um whatever curve ruler you want to buy just buy one and um down the line as you get more into designs you may need circles um uh, circles but right now there are people who are selling you feather rulers now if you're a gadget person and you like spending money and you have money to spend go for it i'm not saying no but to make feathers beautiful quilted feathers that comes with practice that comes with doodling and that comes with time another item that i love and this is for the times that you have to unstitch a quilt because you messed up and picked the wrong color thread these are like little dippers. I love these. I'm cheap kind of, okay? These are only like $1.70 on Tooltron. Mm, I love these things. Man, they're nice and sharp. They, you can rip up a mess. Like sometimes my long arm will offset or I won't start right and I could just do, 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 real quickly and pull up that seam, cut and just move on, keep going and keep working. I love these. These are the best seam rippers and they're cheap and they really are. I love these. I just can't say the most. I've talked about these from years past and I'm talking about them now. So they're good. Okay, they're good. <laughs>